this is just where our first medicine cabinet is. And it's right below our laundry room sink where we do all our animal stuff. And in here I just have some scour stuff, some herbs for dewormer, coconut oil, I don't know what that's in your cupboard. This is kind of the general cupboard that we might never use again, but we just stick it in here just in case. Some leftover pain meds from some of our dogs. Um, got some coccidia stuff. And there's some soul mat that's up on the counter because we're using it right now. Some dewormer, some, I don't know, some little squirt bottle. Blade oil. LA200 back there. Some vitamins and stuff. Who knows what all. And then down below is, we use these a lot. We have boxes of syringes. 12, 6, 3, and 1. The ones we use for tiny doses of selenium for babies. Then we have different kinds of syringes, I mean needles. These are the ones we use most of the time. 1 inch to 20 gauge. These are some of the ones we've used for babies. 22 gauge, 3 quarter inch. These are miscellaneous needles we've gathered over the years from vet visits. They're bigger. Uh, I don't use those very often, but occasionally. And then we have corn syrup. I don't know, some more miscellaneous stuff and more boxes of needles in the back. Oh, and also, you might want to check when you buy syringes. It says lure locks tip. Those other ones are called slip tips. Or yeah, lure slip. You want to get the lock ones because they just hold a lot better when you're injecting thick medications. A lot of times the slip ones will pop off, but if you're the lure lock, there's threads on the end, so you screw the needle onto the syringe and it's not popping off. So that's down there. Our other medicine cupboard is up here. These are more of the meds that we really need to use instead of just optional meds. Well, up at the top we have mostly wound care and there's some bottles. There's also a feeding calf feeding tube in the back and some milking supplies for the goats. Mostly just that sort of stuff up here. A big bottle of OB lube. Super lube it's called. And on the second shelf, here's a little bottle of Super Lube that we fill with the big bottle up top. Calcium, in case we ever have milk fever. More, there's a couple of needles here, but these are mainly blood top, blood tubes. And then some feeding tubes. And a lactated ringers bag and an IV catheter, I don't know what it's called. In case we ever need to use that. In here, we have powdered colostrum and like a gel colostrum in case we ever need it. Down here is just our milk test stuff. Then we have lubricant, a thermometer. These are for my soap making, just essential oils. Then in here we have swabs for abscess cultures, sterile water for mixing up uh, PG 600 and. This is uh, Naxel antibiotic. We have blue lice. And we we'll water these. I think they're, yeah, today for mastitis. And then we have Bosi, thiamine, more thiamine, more vitamin B, banamine, vitamin A and C, and this is a mostly used bottle of Bosi.